Hi, in this demonstration, I want to show you how to add form fields to the PDF that you want to send out for signing. For instance, there are certain fields that you want to request from your signer, and then these can be added uh, directly before sending out for signing. So let's select a PDF in this uh, manual sign request. In my manual sign request, uh, my PDF is there. I can select multiple PDFs if uh, that is required. And then, okay, I can now add my placeholders. First step is uh, I want to add the, uh, the signers. So in this case, I'm just going to demonstrate with one signer and he has to sign over here. And then I can say, well, I'm going to add a text field. The text field is to fill in his company name, for instance. Just double click it and then you can easily resize. So double click it again and then you can go again for uh, repositioning it. Add another text field, for instance, for the signer name. Double click it and then we can, of course, just resize it as required. Uh, next to that, you can also add checkboxes. These checkboxes I can position over here, for instance, double click it and then I can resize to make it a little bit smaller like this. OK, I'm going to say that the checkbox is required so that this has to be checked and I'm going to add a label here. OK, and then this label says, for instance, uh, double click to resize the label. And the label would say something like, um, I agree with this NDA, for instance. And then let's add a date field as well. And then he has to, uh, so the signer has to select the date. And on this date, I'm going to say that the date has to be bigger or smaller than the, uh, um, than the signing date. So there's some extra validation. Also on the text boxes, I want to indicate that they are required. So both are required. The date field is required, so everything can be validated nicely. So when uh, the signer signed it, that all the data is filled in before he actually continues the signing process. Then click Next. I'm going to give a title to my uh, document. So that's uh, Form Field Demo 1, for instance. I'm going to select the template. The template can be uh, has to be selected because maybe you want to have uh, expiration sets or reminders sets. Maybe you want to have uh, receivers so people that stay up to date with the uh, status of the sign request. All of that can be set via the template. So I'm going to select the template. Uh, also, a very important, the template can select the um, the branding that you want to have. For instance, if you say, okay, I have my branding set up as a certain subsidiary of my company. Company, then you can have a separate template for that specific subsidiary. Okay, let's go and select the template and then I fill in my name. My name here, I'm just going to select myself as a signer here and then indicate which uh, signing methods I want to do. Mail auto pay is not required in this case. I just want to uh, maybe show this scribble that you can do and the uh, upload of the image. That sounds good. Now we have to wait until the sign request is prepared and then it's uh, actually already prepared and sent out. So we can immediately view the request and you will see that there is a mail sent out uh, to sign it. But now for uh, demo purposes, I will just sign it from here. Obviously, your signer would have received an email uh, to request for signing and then he would sign it from the email. For demo purposes, uh, I have this icon over here and from this icon, I can now to my tests to sign and see everything is fine. So I see my form fields over here that I added manually. I see the checkbox, I see the uh, the signing placeholder, and I see the, uh, the date that I had to set. Imagine that I do not check any of these items. Then if I now scroll to the end of the document, indicate that I have read and approved and try to sign the document, it will immediately say that there are validation errors. So I have to fill in my company name here. I have to fill in my own name. I have to indicate that I agree with this uh, um, um, NDA and I have to select the date. So for instance, the date I will do the 31st. Why not? And then say again, I want to sign this document. So I had only two options to draw or to upload the image. So if I now just draw my, uh, my signature over here and then go for signing, that should be fine. All is signed. And now, as you can see, 
my sign request is completed. And if I preview my documents directly from Salesforce, you will see that my signature is here, the indication that I agree, my uh, information that I have filled, all the information that I requested is directly there.